This study is really important because there's a huge gap between what we know we should be accomplishing as clinicians and what's actually happening in practice. And what we wanted to do was understand the reasons for that. So as everyone knows, mitral valve repair is strongly preferred over replacing the mitral valve in patients that have mitral valve regurgitation that's due to degenerative mitral valve disease. But there is a huge variation in the chance of a patient that you refer for this surgery getting a mitral valve repair. There's also a huge variation in the quality of repairs. So we wanted to look at practice to see what determined whether patients got repairs or not. We looked at over 5,000 patients that had mitral valve surgery in New York State between 2002 and 2013. We found that if you had degenerative mitral valve disease, if you went to a surgeon that performed 10 or fewer mitral valve operations a year, your chances of getting a repair were 48%. That's worse than a toying cost. If you had your surgery performed by a surgeon that was performing more than that, let's say above 50 cases a year, your chances of getting a mitral valve repair got closer to 80%. Now that's a long way short of the guidelines that recommend a 95% repair rate for patients that have few symptoms and preserved ventricular function. Three take homes from this study for your patients. First of all, if you want to maximize their chances of getting a successful mitral valve repair, you want them to see a surgeon that performs more than 50 mitral valve operations a year. Secondly, if they go to a surgeon that operates at that kind of volume, their chances of getting a durable and high quality repair are much better. And finally, their chances of surviving long term are greater. Higher volume surgeons perform safer, better mitral valve surgery.